W is for weight-bearing exercise and Wolf's Law. So let's talk about weight-bearing exercise and bone health. We use weight-bearing exercise because of Wolf's Law. It's another W. So we've got W for W today. All right, back to Wolf's Law. Wolf found that bones strengthen along the lines where they're used. So that means that if we're using our bones in a particular way, then that stimulates new bone growth. You'll notice in these pictures that looking at a child at birth, that their femur, that's the bone in the thigh, that it's relatively straight at birth. And you'll notice that at three years old, there starts to be a slight growth. And then by five years old, you can compare the growth that connects the thigh bone to the hip bone with a child that's running, jumping, playing, and with a paraplegic child who's not walking. And you can see that the child who's running, jumping, and playing has had growth in a bone in an area where they're using their bones. This principle is something that physical therapists use regularly and that we can apply in principle to our bones. It's one of the reasons why weight-bearing exercise is so critical for bone health. We use our muscles to put stress on our bones in ways that stimulate bone growth. This makes weight-bearing exercise absolutely essential in the world of bone health and osteoporosis and preventing fracture. So make sure that you include weight-bearing exercise in your routine two to three days a week. Please remember to share this with someone that you know and love. Talk soon.